Hello and welcome to comments below. XL. X. X. L. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sign Theo Walker. You can fucking have him. He's got a, a shite. Please, no. Walcott is awful. Even his own fans hate him. Five million for Walcott but would be a worthy gamble considering his wages are about 130,000 a week, but not a penny over. It's time to ask Payjack. Um, has the slate been wiped clean with Lovren once and for all? What a header, son. What a header. The slate was wiped clean before that game. It was covered in jizz afterwards. <laughs> it's red sauce or brown on a bacon butty. It's that time oh, of the week. Hey. Put a bit of a spin on me in comments this week. Ooh, Chris. Get out the way. Payjack, are those legs or Christmas hams? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a fucking pearl. It's an absolute It truly really is. Paul sounds like my mother cheering when I used to race for my school running team. Ouch. Chris, just sit down. Stop embarrassing Paul's top quality programmes. <laughs> um, I'm not a child, therefore it's brown sauce on a bacon butty. The stadium's like a 30 odd thousand capacity jobby. Um, and what it's been revealed is that a ra there's around 9,000 tickets per finalist available. It's uh, utter bullshit, not fair on the fans. Yeah, it says, maybe UEFA thinks the UEFA Cup is not that good. They didn't count on Liverpool making it amazing this year. Ridiculous that UEFA picked a stadium with less than 50,000 capacity. Corporate seat will probably take up most of the remaining tickets. It will take up pretty much all of them. Well, that's exactly what it is, isn't it? You talk, I think it's along the lines of, it's about 17 or 18,000 available for fans, and then you've got another 12,000 or so, so 15,000, which goes to the, the UEFA family, essentially. When your taste buds haven't developed, Paul, it's going to be red sauce. I, under <laughs> I understand that. Do we need a striker in the sub? Yes, all four have had their injuries this season. Griezmann would be very nice indeed. Nah, not a priority. But when you take a vinegar base, you, you take blended tomatoes with it, you add dates, you add tamarind extract, sugar and spices and all things nice. Then you've got Houses of Parliament sauce, mate, and that, that is divine. <laughs> Faces of the week. <laughs> I think he just found out we won. Oh my God, now we've seen Paul's Whoa! sex face. I'm and his spent. Wookie ejaculation. Yeah, but he's just got it in the back of his head and he's not happy. Toast or bread? Ah, this is a tough one for me because I think there's times for both in your life. <laughs> really? Da, 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 da. Snaps of the week. Just this Paul, one? mirror that face for me a second yeah, and yeah, angle yeah. it. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. I think if your bread's not quite fresh, then toast it, obviously. But if you've got like a fucking tiger bread and you've just got it from the supermarket or you just bake your own bread, then, then go for a bread. But be prepared to get the bread stuck to the roof of your mouth. There you go. If you enjoyed that free preview of Comments Below XL, you can click here, right there, and go to the redmentv.com and watch the full show right now. It's an hour long. It's completely free for a month to start your trial. Do it or you're probably weird.